just so happens that I can't go into full screen. What's up, guys? I'm a... How, how did I do my intro again? Anyways, hi, it's me. Um, so here, I'm back. I'm back, yeah. And I'm gonna try to... Yeah, I'm just gonna skip this part because... It goes really fast, but actually, um, I'm gonna try to get some achievements. Oh wait, that's not that one. That's not the one. And with care, it was the shovel. Hello, Buster. Dig down. Never dig straight down, but, but, but rather. Chirp, chirp. Yep. Oh, wait, I forgot. I have to get the ending. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. It's me. Um, let's go with the disguise. I already, I already know that. How did we lose one? Eh? How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the back. Just to be safe. Just to be safe? <laughs> you ever wonder why there's bank a account. bank Find out here? Breaking the bank bios. No. I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Yeah, these no, are all the games that, that I have. Uh, Roblox is glitching. I can't get in. So that's a problem. Henry... Oh, that's sad. You try breaking in the bank and getting all the money. But the thing is, you actually didn't. The story begins. Escaping the prison. Oh, I Hello, get Mr. It. Henry. You're free to go. I'm gonna try <laughs> to get all the bios. Not really. But you've Not got really. a package. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job, and I don't lose my job. <laughs> See you around. Free to go. You know what? Hmm. Noob. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's, um, I know that there's multiple endings in this one. Let's go to attorneys. September 9th, 12.53 p.m., Detroit court, court, courtroom, Witness, courtroom. please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the other van, but suddenly she spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. OBJECTION! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Wait, Present the bios! Present this evidence already. The bios, I need a... I need to redo. What is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to... My dad called me. Not really. But you've got a package. you got a package. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful. Haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job. I'm gonna lose my job. <laughs> See you around. Free to go. Hmm. Let's read, let's redo. Attorneys! Mr. White! September 9th! Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. 
I was riding alongside my partner in the armored van, but suddenly she spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the other. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present here. this evidence already. Here, here we go. I already know. Take that! Is, is, is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did you tie the knob from the outside of the bag? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He did it. What thought are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding that bag at all. He was stopped in there. By this very witness! As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious! This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. He's coming back to haunt him now. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be happy with me! <laughs> well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I'm now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Not guilty! I am free! I am be free! I am free! I'm free go to I am free go to go! Be free to go be free! Okay! Open! Nice. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. In the next episode, I'm going to be playing Stealing the Diamond.